Okay. Okay. 30 seconds left. Oh, this is the game I had lo-fi on for. Okay, so I assume you knew there were these two people. You what? Uh, I assume you weren't the Jets or the, the these two people here. Yeah. So I just skipped. Yeah, I'm the I'm the Viper. Okay. I'm the I'm the Viper in this one. Yep. Yeah, like I pop off, but I looked at my headshot percentage after this game. My friend pointed it out. It was like five percent. I was like, ooh. Crosshair placement's a big issue. A little bit of far ahead of your teammates here. When you're entering, I should also let what your about? jet entry. Second. What about, what about when I entered? So you're a bit far ahead of your teammates. Like you're pushing in, you're oh, keeping things, okay, yeah. and your jet's still getting the orb. Ideally, you would wait for the jet, or you would have your jet entry first, so that if she dies or whatever, or like if whoever, if if some the entry person makes contact, whether that's you or the jet, then okay. jets has better tools to escape that, like she has a dash, right? But your yeah. life is extremely valuable. If you die, like, then it becomes really easy for the enemy team to retake, because... Yeah, you, yeah. smoke goes down. The smoke goes down, go right? exactly. Your, your smoke needs to stay up for as long as possible. Yeah. Enemy me. This might have been, like, my third game of the day, and right. I didn't have tools entry. I honestly forget it's been a couple days since. Yeah, like but, here, yeah. you fight this phoenix, and you win it, which is great, but you could have died, uh, right? Yeah, my crosshair placement there is not great. When you paused it, I was aiming at it like it's like. Okay, I'll pause here quickly, quickly. What are you thinking? Um, Kind of out of habit, I normally, after peeking from nipple, go to... Or to the I go peek uh, long door here. Okay, but, what else? Oh no, it's just a habit. There's a sage wall, so I don't really need to. Okay. What else are you thinking? Tell me everything that comes to mind. Well, now that I see it, I have alt. Oh, wait, should I have round three alt? Okay. I could have alted here. Easily when the... Easily one site, but there is five up versus two. We should <clears throat> we should just win that regardless. Okay. Um, I could hold, I could hold flank, but I don't suspect... Yeah, Phoenix is mid, so if they're flanking, it'd be a very long flank from B. Okay. Uh, what should I be doing here? Well, first I'm trying to gauge everything that you can possibly think of. Then we can. Sage. Well, I mean, Sage is holding door. Jet's holding, kind of long. Rain is over there. I yeah, I guess really the only thing I should probably be holding here, given what angles we're we have in a 5v2 is like either um given that we have the sage wall like help like either go help reina or jet or just go hold the flank in case someone did get behind phoenix okay anything else so far not really no all yeah. could go back up okay so next question i have is where do you want to position the next Five seconds. Or so. Say five to ten seconds. What do you want to head toward? I feel like that depends where I think they're coming from. Okay, then let me ask you, where can they come from? Um, like long B and kind of wrap for our spawn, because Phoenix would see if they're mid. So T spawn come going to a cave? Yeah, T, T spawn the cave, uh long door or from their spawn pretty much. Well, what is long door? Uh, like like the door I'm looking at right now. The oh, mid door, okay. Yeah, mid door. Sorry. Okay, but Phoenix already has like control of mid. Yeah, so, so I don't really need the B peak in there. So it would probably be from their spawn. Okay, so their spawn say... or flank. Okay, yeah. So those are the main two options. Either they're going to come from uh, T spawn, going to cave, or they're going to come from CT spawn. Yeah. Okay. 
and uh, I'd say if those positions are valid, I would probably choose CT spawn because the chances of them getting to T spawn while your Phoenix has already control of mid is pretty slim. Like yeah. chances are that he'll heal them or he'll see them or he'll make first yeah, contacts. I've, yeah, I've tried flanking from T spawn on D to the other side, like walking the long route. That is the most useless flank, especially if bombs down because you you just. Like, you pretty much spend the entire time that you could be on site yeah. flanking. Yeah, and the other issue too with that kind of flank is that it's a very long flank. Unless they already pushed you up through mid. Yeah. Yeah. If, but... Like, if you're, if you're going to make that flank work, you got to pretty much do it early. Yeah. Before they can get on the site. Okay. Yeah, so then so, we've, ruled yeah. Out, we've ruled out a cave. So now we know that the only it's place long. you have to worry right, about is long. CT spawn. Yeah. And based on where our team is currently positioned, let's let's assume that they, they don't change position, let's assume they, I, they just I stay with them. I, I could probably hold uh like the door of the switch. Okay, let me just, change this. We'll look at a map. Yeah, okay. Uh I believe yeah, like switch. So we have a wall here, Sage is here, we are Viper in the middle of nowhere, we have Jet on site, and we have Reyna here. And yeah, I, I, sh I should hold switch bridge here. Vi so Viper, or Jet's holding bridge. So you want to stand here? No, no, like hold that from like somewhere on site. So you want to play from where? Yeah, like probably mid site, like in between, in between pyramids. So stand here and then look at doors, metal, metal doors. Yeah. Can I just say something? Sure. Go. Uh, why don't we go the easiest route possible? And I see you have like your, I don't know what it's called, but your mouse button five. Yeah. Throw it down on the bomb and walk to a shop and just play the most passive angle you can and ensure that, that I'm is, basically. That is what I do uh, like so often. Yeah. Uh, it's like, so, like yeah. it takes out their, yeah, I don't even know what that Viper Smoke is called. I just call it Nade. Yeah. It takes out their like their shield and then it's an easy molly kill. Because my thought process here is Reyna will catch anybody coming from bridge or CT, and she will hear anybody by metal doors. Jet will yeah. help refrag the Reyna from switch. Sage will be there like if and like if yeah. anything, it'll they that's, have like a triple yeah, thing set going I think on there. That's so the best, I think that's the best like plan here. It's just. Safe hold, throw, uh, throw my, my nade smoke on bomb. Basically play for your econ right there. Do I, I, don't... I have any mollies yeah. though? That's, uh, no, you it. don't, but if uh, okay. if you just set it off while it's like about to... Like, yeah. It, well, they yeah, should be it, 1xp it, and you know where still, the bomb is. Yeah, it's still... I think that, yeah, I think that's the, the better call than what I said. Yep. Okay. Playing, so the issue doors. of that, I mean, yes, it's really strong. The issue of that is that you basically bait your entire team. And second issue is that you give up map control. Right now, your yeah. your team has full control of site plus mid, and then while you're sitting in shop, basically doing nothing, your Reyna could die, your Jet could die, your Phoenix could die, and then you like they all they could all take bombing ones, and you no one near to help them. Yeah, like, so, like right now, if I'm the enemy team. Phoenix is the easiest person for my team to kill if I know he's there. Like, he's all alone, that's a 1v1. Or 1v2. Again, on, on Phoenix. Depends if they, like, if they're, let's say, someone is Nest, one person's Nest, and then, I don't know, well, maybe another person like CT, and then they regroup the person. No, no, you, they, they like, they pre like, if you're gonna take the Phoenix out here, you wanna do double peek him. Like, right. if you're taking a 1v, like, like if they're trying to kill Phoenix here, they want they want to have like a double peak going. So, not not from Ness, I'd say like maybe come from tunnel. Just to give it a little different of an angle. So you mean like one Ness, one tunnel? Yeah, but you'd have to wait for the Phoenix to actually walk up more. Just because he, he can see Ness, but Tunnel won't see him. Yeah, but the, the the issue is that Phoenix does not have to take any engagements right now. He just yeah. needs to hold mid. He just needs to watch the and, and make it. Dude, it, I'm pretty confident in this game. It's it's bronze, and I'm pretty confident. I just ended up just 
designating myself as bomb bitch because my team would just often not plant when we have free site. Okay, so and, you so you uh, plant the bomb, yeah. which is fine, but yeah. what I'm talking about is what I'm focusing on is post plant situation. Like, how do we play yeah. on our team? Where do we go? What do we position? What angles do we worry about? Normally, normally I just play like a super passive post plant because it's like the time's on them. They have to walk on the site, clear angles, and defuse. All so, I have to do is if they if they hold if they stick it, just kill them. Yeah, you can do that as a last resort, but again, you bait your team and you give them map control. Yeah, in this position, I don't want to do that. We have full control of site. Right, you want to so, fight for that control. And then worst case scenario, like, if you lose control of mid, fine. Then you back off mid. If you lose control of CT spawn, fine. Back off CT spawn. You can always like use I, your. I could go. I could go hold the opposite of the Reyna here on like that wall where like bridge comes and meets in the site. I mean here. But it, uh, yeah, like there. But it, I like that doesn't seem like a worthwhile hold. Like I can hold mid doors from there and metal door. Or yeah, I can hold mid door and metal door. But it's like. We already have those covered. I'll just be watching the same angles. So you want to look for crossfires. This is a good crossfire if you know they're coming, both coming CT spawn. But we don't really know that. Yeah. Someone could come from switch. If they open the switch, we're completely on the open. Yeah. I mean, if they come through switch, Reyna and maybe Jet should also be able to look there. Definitely Reyna. Maybe, maybe Jet. Okay, but my point is to, again, you want to play on your team as much as possible and yeah, not play super create, passive like sitting inside yeah, shop. This I should be. I want to create a crossfire here. Yeah, this someone. should be a last resort. When, yeah. you're, when you're last person alive or like whatever the situation, like you're, you're down, whatever, and yeah. you don't have map control, then sure, play shop, play one, play one bomb. But when you have all this map control, you should basically abuse it as much as possible. Yeah, create a crossfire somewhere on the map. So let's go back and uh, talk about where can we play. Where can we play? We can we can reinforce our arena because what could possibly happen? Even though that jet is like oops, this isn't really a straight line. Even though yeah. our jet has an angle like this, she doesn't have an angle if Arena took a damage here. Like if someone came underneath bridge and fought the yeah. So I should I should probably play somewhere kind of where I can check underneath bridge. Uh, just somewhere that you can play off your As soon as Rena makes contact, you want to be in a position to swing yeah. or peek and then trade her out or force the two yeah. one to happen. So post plant situations, it's all about denying one v ones from happening and forcing two v ones to happen. Yeah. So one example of this is if you play it on these boxes, might blow switch, or even blow yeah. the boxes, whichever. Well, like if they had one, if they had one person up, like what their one person's trying to do is isolate all of this in the one v ones. Right. So you're right that five v two. Common thing they do on the other side is just don't give one v ones. Right. So you're right that five v two that you don't need to spend your alts. The round is basically winnable as long as you guys play correctly and just trade each other out, play numbers game. But the way that the enemy team can win the round is if they take a bunch of one v ones in a row and win each of those one v ones. But in a row. like Phoenix, Phoenix is a one v one. Uh, depending where I go, Reyna might be a 1v1, depending on where they come from as well. And that, then it's like a right. 3v2. So you have the option of playing off your Reyna, like playing make contact off your Reyna, or you have the option yeah. of going through mid-doors and playing off your Phoenix. Yeah. So one option you could play here, and Phoenix will play here, or whatever, or play one pillar, and you guys will just crossfire each other. Crossfire here, crossfire there. But the, the easier option is just play off Urena, and then Phoenix will hopefully just play passive. If he doesn't play passive, he just put, sends it and dies. If we lose mid control, not a big deal. Like mid, Doris is still a choke here. If, if he dies, he gets, at least he got info. Sure. And we know someone's mid. Right? Yeah. So I just want to make sure that you understand this yeah, is okay I, to play. I am, no. I am not going to be playing a. Uh, yeah, I, I can tell you I did not go support the arena here. Okay, then we'll, we'll point out as many situations as possible. 
Okay. Yeah. Back to VLC. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go back in the cave here and play passively. Okay, so now team's moving around. I'll see, just watch your flank. Alvena is about to push CT. So right now, I'm, yeah, right now I'm really worried about Alvena. Alvena is pushing CT, CT. She could fight some, yeah. fight someone and die. Okay, so now we see last person's in a hall. What are you thinking? Um, they could still come metal door. Okay. What else? Sage, Sage fucked off. She she's gonna go hold the flank. Okay. Um, Jet kind of me and Jet kind of swap spots. Okay. And Phoenix is pushing mid, or Phoenix is pushing mid door. Okay. I would say we're kind of pinching him. Their Sage here, but like, there's also Rain is a one v one, for sure. Phoenix is a Phoenix Sage are also potential. I mean, Sage is a one v one, depending on what Sage does if she goes up ropes. Okay. I I like I, I like I like my hold here in case she comes door. Okay. Uh, but I should I should coordinate it with Jet just because Jet's kind of over by the wall. Yeah. And Phoenix is already literally holding mid door. Okay, so I don't like the position you're in right now because this is a straight up one v one. If the sage yeah, peeks no, off, no, I, I the, need to coordinate this with the jet. Right, you basically need to like, put your wall down, and then even if you were to like hold this thing, this angle, like watching metal door, you should do it behind some sort of cover. In other words, use the boxes in front of you. So yeah. after this wall goes down, down, okay, so now we rotate over to pyramids, just fine. But still, I'm really worried about our. our yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't see her nipple. Or I didn't see her uh, you know, on the map at all. Let's see you next oh, time. Okay, we do the same setup. Toxins, go in here. Go in your routine, but you're gonna go first. Rain has a sec yeah. she can go first, you need to trade out, you're too far. Yeah. Get ready, get ready. Still let you fire. Okay, now you're together. Bomb is you don't have bomb. I should have killed him. You should have taken your time, you think you panicked. Yeah, I do that a lot. Here you see this guy. He's not looking at you. He's I, busy focused on something else. Just I, I love my time. crosshair here. Like it's almost on his head, and I'm just gonna bring it onto his knee. For he no just reason. Panics. He just panics. Yeah. And that that's one of my main issues is that I panic when I see people. you're thinking that you're gonna use your ults this round or have some kind of your ults and if yeah. you do use your ults you should probably use a phantom instead of a vandal yeah probably don't break this i mean yes you do generally you do want to break stage wall but not when your teammate is iced out so you, right now your reyna only has one angle to worry about when you break this now she has two angles to worry about and then you have to reload so now you're basically like hard baiting your reyna So she could have gotten peaks and died and would not be able to trade out. When this happens, uh, your backline, like you and the Sage get mollied off while Reyna is entering, is to communicate. Tell Reyna, hey, we're mollied off, you're alone. Reyna, you're alone, careful. Yeah. Just so that he plays a little bit passive for the next few seconds until you can get back into the fight. Down. Yeah, I don't happens. know why I start walking back. Towards like I'm gonna flank in mid. Yeah, here you're looking at yeah. elbow, but elbow's completely clear. Your jet's an elbow. Yeah. Also, not a big fan of jet having bomb elbow. Can you rewind? I feel like I saw her walk off of her. 
Like, I feel like attacks are, and then that's like, oh shit. There is a kill droid there. Okay, we see two yeah. mid. Yeah, I saw her, and then. It's e fine. E just make sure we play off our arena. Arena's about to retake mid right now, and we're just hiding on the side of the smoke, doing nothing. We're watching C CT, which is doing nothing. The last two people are mid. We took a fight, and Enemy we did nothing remain. to help. Now we're watching nothing, watching nothing, just looking at our teammates. Now we need to be careful because we're going off alone. Again, you gotta take your time. She didn't even realize you were there. And then you just, you kind of just spread out her feet. Yeah. That just took more time. I'd, I have like way more kills already this game. At least two. Or no, at least one. I got that one, but it was sloppy. So if you can't trust your teammates to like carry a bomb safely, then you should carry the bomb. Yeah, I think I end up doing that later in this game. I definitely did it next game on Breeze. I've, after seeing that jet with bomb, I should have just taken it though. Like should she dropped it? it mid when we had sight, or like she lost it mid when we had sight. Let's say pause here and say that's a minor issue for now is that when you see an enemy who is unaware of your position then you should not panic instead you should take your time line up your crosshair and take the easy shot instead yeah. of spraying at their legs okay. Having their vision. I need the Enemy spotted. Let's go begins. Oh. Enemy spotted B. Can help you, Arena. Help you, Jet. I think you already killed Phoenix. Help you, Arena. Help you, Arena. Yeah, you're safe as well. You know that she's in the corner. One enemy remaining. Last guy's nest, play off Urena, hide your backside, too passive. What's gonna happen right now is that Urena's gonna take the fight and you're gonna be sitting backside. Yep. Doing, doing zero down. value to help. Right, Urena's pushing through mid, peeking mid. She has to wire ball like three different angles now elbow, mid, nest. Right, we see a CT spawn? Okay, now we need to go help our jet. Now just gonna fight. Hey, help. So, let's go switch screen and see some notes that I'm gonna take. Post plan situation. Think about, or even before this. Um, I play to... too passive after post plant when I should be playing more aggressive. Yeah, let's say try to avoid say unnecessary long ones and instead force movie ones to happen. And especially in post plant situation, don't play overly passive. If your team, let's say like if you're hiding back sites while your team is pushing out then you're getting zero value. You're basically getting zero value. And, yeah. in, and instead have to rely on your sort of clutch skills, yeah. but more like uh, clutch skills and your and Viper's post-plant kit. Okay. And then let's say, and then them to this post-plant situation. Again, you want to Avoid one one from happening, or like, uh, let's say, avoid unnecessary one ones from happening. So not specifically just you, but your team as well. And try to force two ones to happen. If your teammate is pushing to CT spawn, if your teammate is pushing to mid, or if your teammate is alone getting pressured in mid, you should go help them right away. Yep. Okay, third bullet point. Um, if your team is pushing, well, so far this is a 
not ma not major, but just minor for now. We'll see if it becomes a major issue. Is that if your team or teammates is pushing, make sure you are not lagging behind. If they take an engagement, you should generally try to be uh, try to trade them out or try to be in a position to trade them out. Slash hoist it to become a 2v1. Okay. Yep. Alright, back to we'll see. Ooh, I got I'd be very careful about going A. Also, this toxin is a little bit too early because yeah. the wall is up, but neither you nor Sage is able to actually push to the door right now. So yeah. there's no point. Oh, in yeah. This, I think this was the problem in this game. Our, our, our duelist just kept going mid. Then you should go mid. Uh, I did not want to go mid at all of them. You have to play it on your team. If you I make know. this A play, which is fine, you could let the duelist go mid and then you go A, but just note that you'll be alone. So that, yeah, yeah. basically you have to like push relatively slowly, be really careful about taking engagement, make sure that your team is with you. I am not pushing this slowly, I can already tell you just from looking at the video. Well, this is slower, right? right? This walking makes no, sense. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be peeking it in a couple of seconds. Okay, this, like. the peak is fine. You're going slow, you're walking, you're not making any noise. The problem right now is that when you're about to peek and then the wall becomes useful, like right here, like you just peeked out slightly, let's say you peek here, now the wall is useful, but you only have 40% charge left on the wall. Yeah, the wall is well, way too early. Wall is way too early. So this is fine. The problem now is that you're going to plant. There's no need to peek that, just let your sage cover it. Okay, we can spend ult here. Don't leave, don't leave the ults. Ask your sage for a heal, don't leave the ults. You. you have no idea of these people on the other side of this, of the ults. Where should I be? Oh, yeah. uh, okay. It's up. Where, sh where should I be ulting on site? As a Just generally the bomb. Or, yeah. I mean, you can... Yeah, my, my bro further. just feels so weird on A site, because it feels like it's so small, just because, like... There's so much shit that takes up space. Yeah, you can min-max it further, but generally just make sure the ult covers the bomb. So that yeah. if they try to defuse, if they try to get in range to defuse, they have to walk into the ult. They have to be in my ult. Yeah, yeah, they have to be in the ult and they have to take damage. And then... I, for I don't think I should have mollied in the cave there. Let's see, what are we doing? Oh, I, I, threw, I, I used my, my molly and put it in cave. Like, okay. I'm gonna go mid. Uh, Chitty's here and for, yeah, and turn oh. in for a molly and cave. Yeah, I would say save your molly. Yeah. Because molly is really strong to throw it on that, the bomb. Yeah, that, that just seemed like a very high risk, low, like high risk play. Where it's like, that might not have hit anyone at all. Like, I can't tell. Okay. We have no info if anyone's there, so bad, bad molly. But oh well. Okay, either way. Right now, what you should be thinking is that look at your team. Your team has control of the CT side of sites. The yeah. only thing that you don't have control of is is a cave slash T spawn like like flank. Yeah, that that's why door. I'm that's why I'm staying in my in my alt. Like if someone comes from a cave, yeah, and but it's, don't be uh, like, don't be too tied to your alt. You can leave your alt for like fifteen seconds. Yeah. And It'll still be up, and then you go back to your ult, and it recharges super fast. Yeah. So again, don't be in like a super passive position, just camping inside your ult while gunfights happen around you. Make yeah. sure that when gunfights do be, happen, you should help. be peeking with my team. You should be peeking with your team, happen. right? Exactly. If someone pushes from mid door and then fights your sage and then fights your phoenix, you need to swing out and then trade them out. So just yeah. make sure that you're not hiding in your ult the entire round. Yeah, I think I hide in my ult here. I think even playing in this position is not even necessary because what could possibly happen is that someone goes from cave, swings inside your ult, and then maybe forces a one run with you, and now you don't have your ult anymore. So instead, just make sure you play for your life, 
play, instead, you can just like hide on the other side of pyramid, and then if they were to push into your ults, they take a huge amount of damage. If they're trying to make that kind of play where they force the one-man with the weapon, they take a huge amount of damage. If they try to defuse the bomb, they also take a huge amount of damage, and then your whole team can yeah. all together turn around and look at the if bomb. I, look at if the I had my molly and they tried to defuse, I don't even have to. Right, to that really too. Risk exactly. Life. So I would say even looking in this direction is not even important. Just make sure that you're able to trade out your Phoenix, trade your Sage, etc. Yeah. I'm more looking at this direction. Remaining. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say I'm pretty like I'm pretty sure someone's coming to play. I'm not sure. Anything here. You hear the bomb, okay. You yeah. spray at it. You hit, then you hear him shooting back at you. When okay, that happens, no, well. you know he's already off the bomb. There's no point in yeah. you face checking like this and risking dying. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I could have waited for him to retap. Yeah, again, another necessary or, one. Or like to position the box, like to the boxes that I usually molly, knowing that he's uh he's inside my that he's inside my uh my thing. Yeah. My okay. So wrong order of shooting here or operations. If your plan was to get the orb, you should not break the wall and then get the orb. But breaking yeah, the wall, you, ex you expose yourself. I sure got orb first. Breaking wall, right. easy, easy kill. Someone peeks and hears it. Right. So while you're getting this orb, now the wall is broken. You don't know if someone can swing you or double swing you, etc. Yeah. Well, they could just be pulling pillar. So Reno is about to push in. You want to make sure we push right. Reno. Don't sit so far back. Toxins going up. So while this is happening, keep track of what's in front of you. Like awareness, right? Look at the mini map. Look at what's in front of you. Try to read your teammate's body language. If your Reyna has a flash out, most likely she's got about to flash and about to push off that flash. So keep all these things in mind. And don't be the first one in. Let your Reyna go first. Yeah, I just feel really confident this game. Don't need these mollies. Don't need no. these mollies. This one is like kind of iffy and eh, maybe okay. That, one, that one's maybe okay, I don't have to face check, the second one's just dumb. Yeah, the second one's completely, like, we don't know if someone's hiding the other side of this, this, uh, this wall, and then they might swing us. Yeah. Wall of all these outs. Yeah, like, bombs being planted, I should not be falling while she's planting. Pretty sure I'm gonna end up repositioning Yeah, that. this is why this is really bad, because you're... Playing super passive backside. It's a two v two. Phoenix is like me and Phoenix are very split up in the two no, one no, no, v one. No no, no 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 no. Look at your team. Look at your team. You're hitting. You're hiding backsides. You're playing on your wall. Fine, but you know, the, the enemy team is not gonna. This wall is kind of useless right now. So just let it recharge. But what happens? Your sage takes a one CT spawn. We're sitting. We're still sitting backsides. What what happens next? Gonna go take the one v one too. Now, right now, Reyna takes another one v one. Dies. Now we're still sitting backside. Now we yeah. lost all this map control and we did zero to, to, to like get value out of it. Yeah. Now we're in a one two v two. And then yeah, uh, me, me and Phoenix are split up here, so this is like an, if if they if they're grouped, this is an easy round for them to win here after uh Reina Sage die. This not necessarily just because you guys are playing split does not mean it's a bad thing. Like No, but oh, right, but right. yeah, no, like we went from a fort 4v2 to a 2v2 and like the chances of them winning it went extreme got it, like way higher because of that right so because then, they sat in the back of site here yeah so what what can we do to improve the success rate like we, we have the bit the way we, that we ensure that we win the we round know, is that we do play I know there's one Phoenix. in death right now uh well, we do not we only know there's one city spawn then what the enemy phoenix is um, city spawn if I shouldn't be expecting Reyna's going to support Phoenix based off her route. So I should be I should be like grouping up more with the Sage and supporting her, knowing that she's also about just to push off of site. Yeah, so ideally you wouldn't just be sitting back site. Ideally you would help your Sage help your Reyna. But let's say yeah. that you find yourself in this situation where it's just you and the Phoenix, and what I was trying to get at is like, where did you throw your, your smoke orb? Oh, no, I didn't, not in a great spot. 
it is um okay so we wasted it basically so yeah knowing that we're going to be with just us as two the smoke will be more useful blocking off something that our wall does not already block off so right now our wall will block off <laughs> mid and blo will block off ct spawn we so, could block off um, like T entry on the site here. Yeah, we could block off B main. But okay, so shit happens. So we don't have our smoke anymore. So yeah. we, we still need to be thinking how can we play off our Phoenix? Like right now, we actually have a decent crossfire where if they were to push through mid, Phoenix could possibly make first contact and then they'll run into a crossfire with you and the Phoenix. Other thing I'm thinking too is that we don't want to peek the guy's CT spawn. Well, we don't want to pick the enemy Phoenix CD spawn because he has an op, and we're most likely going to lose that at a long range fight. So, we should look to set up a crosshair with a Phoenix against the Reyna, assuming that Reyna goes through mid, and avoid taking a duel with the Phoenix at CT spawn. So, yeah. hiding backside is fine. Another better option might be getting to Column if you can, although it depends yeah. how, how safe or not safe that becomes. I, we know Phoenix is is uh spawn we don't know where reina is though right so reina reina could be flanking from team mean could be yeah and if that's the case me mean phoenix maybe kill her depending on what angles she has so so two things if the reina comes from from mid then phoenix will probably make this contact likewise if we, if reina comes from b main phoenix will still make first contact unless the reina yeah. just like ignores the phoenix but it's unlikely, right? Most li most likely, Phoenix will be making first contact. So what are we yeah, looking I to got, do? I gotta is... be peeking off of Phoenix right. here, wherever right. he goes. So the way that we win this round is make sure that as soon as Phoenix makes contact, that we s double swing, like we swing out, and yeah. make sure that our Phoenix, like, either stays alive or, like, we Phoenix wins that duel. Either Phoenix yep. kills the person or you kill the person. Okay, so let's see what happens. Here, I would even sit backside. Now you have your wall up, so like, up. right before the wall actually goes up. I don't think I want my wall up. If, with my wall up, if they go mid, I can't, I can't peek right away. So two things. If your wall is down, that means Phoenix can make first contact if the person comes from B main. Therefore, you don't even have to, like right now you're looking at B main, you don't have to look at B main because Phoenix is already looking at it for you. Yeah. With, so, with my wall up, it, uh, I'm really isolating us in the 1v1s. Yeah, which is not necessarily bad. You could still play on your wall. So let's say that right around. No, but but I I don't think I want to put my wall up, knowing that it we know where uh, Phoenix is, like their Phoenix. So like if Reina comes mid or she comes uh B main, like we kill her. Okay, let's go to. If I swing as well. Let's go to the map. We'll talk about this. We are at bombsite B. Now Phoenix yeah. is playing box, so technically Phoenix is not exposed to CT as long as he doesn't move this way. Yeah, Phoenix is good. I and then we're have sitting to be careful outside. given that I can be exposed to T shot to to, to their, their Phoenix here. Uh, yes, um, you do have to be careful. Yeah, and, so uh, if see. if Reina if Reina is coming mid. Like I don't want, I don't want my wall up at all. Because if Reina comes mid, I can swing. Okay, and this is what our wall looks like. So when the wall yeah. is down, Phoenix is going to make first contact. With, with the wall up, I really, I really give them the one v the two v one for Phoenix. Right. So I just want to focus on like what to do when the wall is up, what to do when the wall is down. Don't focus too much on like oh we need to keep the wall up or we need to keep the wall down. Just make sure you know. Like, How to play like, on your wall, whether it's up or down. If I, if I put my wall up, it's so I can rotate without getting uh, opt by okay, their Phoenix. So let's go through the first situation that happened, which is the wall is down. When the wall is down, Phoenix is going to make first contact at, at B main. That means we do not have to stand this far. We can stand a little bit closer so that if someone comes, like if Rain was here, comes and fights the Phoenix, we're closer to, to double peak yeah, and trade it off. Okay. I get a faster peak. Okay. If someone so, comes mid, Phoenix makes first contact, yeah. and then so I, when I the, still peak. When the wall does go up, now this is like riskier. So what we want to do is that when the wall goes up, we want to get to here. So we play which more. Which is of a, why I want. Which is why I want my Q smokes or like my um. Yeah. So ideally, you would have a smoke grenade. here. 
I do yeah. use to help you smoke, but you kind of threw it at nothing. So unfortunately, this is kind of a waste. But yeah. the end goal if is I still that... If I I could smoke off B main and actually, like, safely rotate. Yeah, so the end goal is still, you want to play off your Phoenix, you want to play off your wall. And then being close to your wall is, a, like, an easy, simple way to do that. Where, like, the wall is up, you play in this corner, and then you just watch here. If Phoenix makes contact, you push through the wall. Like, if Phoenix, like, fights someone here or whatever, or he fights someone at CT spawn, you push through yeah. the wall, and now you turn it to a 2v1. You turn this to a 2v1. Yeah. Alternatively, yeah. instead of, uh, if you know for sure that nobody, like, save, if Phoenix says, oh, Rainer's mid, someone's mid, and we know the other person, the Phoenix is in CT spawn, and the wall is like this, now you don't have to play like here. You have you have all the the freedom to play like here, 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 anywhere yeah. along the wall. Whatever will maximize the chances I that you can I trade out your Phoenix. I think if I know Rena's mid, I throw up my wall, rotate on the pillar to position myself away from the Phoenix op, and then me, me and Phoenix have a, a double peek on the arena, and then we can rotate, then we can like switch switch our focus to the uh, Phoenix that's in Ness. Yeah. So, yeah, you're looking to take a 2v1 with the Reyna, and worst comes to worst, then take a 2v1 with the Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. So let's go and see how you play this out. And switch to VLC. Yeah. But this is, this is too passive. We need to get close to our wall. Like right now, at any point, Phoenix can make contact with somebody. And we're not going to be able to do anything about One it. Enemy. Like right there. I mean, the Phoenix wins it, but we can't rely on our team Remaining like carrying us like that. Jump, whatever. Yep. That, like, I, I did it right on that, on the Phoenix kill, but I did it poorly on the Reyna. Okay, so be as walls. I probably should not be playing off also. here. Also, you have max money. Doesn't seem like you pressed tab at all. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, no, I should have bought someone. You should buy. You should definitely buy some money. Yeah. We can share if you and buy some. So be again. as walls. You guys can basically just play super fast because you gonna, know that. I'm gonna walls opt from overlook or whatever it's called. This is pointless because it's walls. Now it's open. Toxins going up. Toxin screen down. Good shot. Going up. Bad orb. A little bit greedy because your team is not necessarily covering you while you're getting the orb. I mean, it's just a bad, bad orb to grab it. Today, you should have not put it. Okay, now your jet's entering, but you're too far away. Yeah. The whole team's not there. Sage is pushing, Sage is pushing with a res. And she has bomb, and then we're just falling back. One enemy remaining. Okay, so yeah. 41, 41 scenario, last guy is unknown. We want to be really careful about I, taking I should be I should be on site here with my team. I mean, it's not Safe. necessarily bad that you're you're looking kind of mid to like because it is good to get map control I, like, and get I information. Am, I am gonna I am gonna be in a position here. I think she actually ends up being Ness. Or like whatever. What's the what's the lookout in the spawn from like what's the lookout from like T in the mid? Yeah, it's, it is CT Ness. But I'm not focused yeah. on the future right now. I'm focused on that's why I'm paused right now, because we don't know yeah. where we don't know where Sage is. No. So we can so, only talk about like what we do know and yeah, where we're like, and where do we want like to be. Like I'm probably like I'm in a great spot to position if she pops up mid somewhere with yep. the help of the Phoenix. Yeah. And Jet and Sage, I assume, are going to be in a position to help each other. Yeah. Not really sure. Yeah. So I can, I, al I can also kind of dictate how it goes over there with my wall. Yeah. So but, I don't want to say yeah. that this is a right or wrong answer or a right or wrong play. I just want to highlight the trade-offs. So just make sure that if you're, Jet, if you're Jet, going to do this, well, you, you well, don't lose your Sage was, Yeah, while Sage was rezzing, I should have I should have been covering her. Yeah, so that, that was like five sec five ten seconds ago. Now I'm focused on my now it's a forty one yeah. situation. What do you, what do we do in the situation? Okay. Support the Phoenix here, knowing that we don't want to give her one v ones. Uh yes, if possible. And that that well the with the position I put myself in, that's the best 
thing to do. Yes. But we don't like she could be coming mid. She, I don't think she'd be coming from from T spawn. I mean, bomb's not down yet. She could potentially do it, but that's a very bad flank. Or well, it would be a very good one because it would kill you and pick up your up. Yeah, like I mean, it kills me. Um, but yeah, it's a very long flank. Yeah, hmm. I'd say she's more likely to be like I know where she comes from, so I don't want to say it. But she comes. I'd say more likely like mid or CT spawn to. B site or like net or CT nest. Yeah, so right now like our Phoenix is already picking nest. In order to help our Phoenix, we want to cover angles that he's not able to watch. So right now he's yes. not able to watch mid doors. Yeah, and I think I think that's what I'm gonna be. Yeah. So you you can too. watch mid doors for him, but you just have to make sure that you don't get flanked from T spawn. Yeah. Okay? Okay. And this is this is two aggro here. Your job is just to watch mid door, and then now we push like yeah. We push, I... we push, we push. We don't know if if Sage is gonna pick mid door at any moment right now. We could die, and then now we're kind of safe. Although we no, still have a ton of vision though. So again, this is like really risky, right? Because we're we're alone yeah, here. Yeah, I I should not be looking tunnels right now. Like Phoenix just pushed through tunnel. Right, you shouldn't be looking tunnels. There's no point looking at tunnels. Look at nest, or look at CT. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not confident in my shot on this one. She didn't know where you are, you could just take your turn. Yeah. I mean, we get her, but yeah, I need to take my time more on my shooting. Watching here. Again, this wall is too early. Yeah. You put the wall up, the wall yeah, is not we're, actually we're blocking anything. Pretty much just, we're pretty much just inside cave. Now the wall is semi-useful and you've lost 30%. Now the wall is really important and it's at, at half percent already. Yeah, I'm throwing walls up way too early. And by the time you actually want to entry, the wall is going to be forced to go down. Like right now you actually do want to entry because now you're close to, the, to this entrance here. Yeah. Oh, don't mind. Uh, you just saw the raise? You don't know if she's gonna just peek us with a gun. Yeah. She should have peeked me. I mean, you should have died. Spike down A. I have a spike. Fuck! Oh, Why is Spike down A? Too much utility. I have yeah. You know that there's, there's two uh, people on site. They, they, they heard me switch. They heard me switch guns. Uh, they me. They, yeah, they hear you drop guns, not necessarily switching. Yeah, they hear me drop and then peek. Good, good play by them. Bad play by me though. Yeah, typical three to three. There's two people on site. Why is Anytime they can peek us. That's a f not playing. Three sites are oh, yeah, over there. Tilted at. I'm duelist going mid here. Yeah, you should probably just go mid with them. Help them. I should, but I'm just so stuck on throwing these walls and entering. You should run. You know where she is, you know, she planted that ult. Don't need to reload there. Yeah, you're reloading a lot. Don't need to reload again. Yeah, I have a really bad habit of reloading after shooting. Go help your team, go help your team. There's no point in holding this angle. Now you lose one top mid nest, there's one T spawn. I wouldn't push you here because now you're gonna be, definitely be alone. Also, push through some nades here. Yeah, and they know exactly where you are, that's why they're mauling you. It's winnable when you don't need to reload. It's winnable if you ult and play around it. I'm not gonna you have, ult. You have to do it fast though. You don't have to reload. You don't have to reload. Killjoy's still somewhere nearby. I really gotta stop pulling out my util. I'm trying to I'm trying to bait them into thinking I'm rotating. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. And I missed yeah, the kill. That's just cost your placement issue. Just... Yeah. Toxins going up. Uh, Don't push my, end, my entire. Don't put this. 
Oh, actually, you can break it because you're not going to get orb. Okay, so I like the idea you broke it, you, you went somewhere else. You should follow your team now. I, I'm, ping, I'm pinging the rotate. You should just tell your team to rotate. Like, use your yeah. mic or use the wheel. Like, your team is, like, not really paying attention to your pings. So either you need to be vocal about it, or you need no. to use the in-game voices. Like, yeah. rotating or going A. Yeah, I need, uh... So some coordination issue, like here you're trying yeah. to do your own thing, but your whole team, your jet is entering on B. Yeah, I should. They have an op. Toxins going up. So you make this play toward A, which is fine. Just be really careful. Be really sure that A is clear before you plant. Don't, I don't Toxins check all that. Yeah, we don't. We don't know if someone's cave, coming to the shop, someone could be in sight. We want to help out Phoenix. I would save the ult for later until after we've made a play with Phoenix. This ult is kind of way too early because Phoenix is going to take a while we want before this ult becomes useful. And I'm just playing passively. You're just in my playing ult. passive, right, exactly. You need to help either your Sage or your Phoenix. Worst comes to worst, you can always fall back to Sage and then play uh, on your ult. I have helped Sage there. Even right now, I will play on the edge of your ult so that when the Phoenix makes contact, the we, person from mid. We know there's can... one. Yeah, we know there's one mid door. I should yeah. be. I should also be peeking that with Phoenix here. Yeah, you should be on the edge of your ult so that when Phoenix does make contact like this, that you swing out as soon as one this happens. Enemy remaining. Last player standing. Now you just run away. Just run away. Don't die to the bomb. It, it's last round. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. I I should have killed her before bomb there. Yeah, it's fine. As long as you don't defuse, doesn't matter. That that was a lucky ninth round. We yeah. we should not have won that one. I did a lot of bomb. Call one A. It takes yeah. super long these pings. You can just look at look at the the location and then ping it. Ideally, you just use your mic and just say two A. At least two A. Yeah. And then okay, let's talk about this. We're like we're hiding in mid. I guess it's just hiding just to to reload. But then we decide what we I we're thinking about. I was gonna flank from uh, there's from cave, and then I think I end up going through uh through our spawn. Yeah, this is too slow. This is too slow because yeah. they're, they're already entering onto sites. By the time already, you get to they're a already on site. By the time I even get so, a road, get a flank or rotate. Somewhere else, they're yeah. gonna they're gonna have full control. One is too slow, and second is that Jet is already flanking them. So by the time you actually get over there, Jet will probably already have gotten a kill or done Sage, something with Sage, the flank. Sage is all the way over at B, also what looks like flanking. Yeah. So instead, you should Phoenix help. Is mid, like should, I I need to help the arena here. You need to help the arena. Need to help me. help contest. Help slow them down. Whatever you whatever you can yeah. do. If Rana finds yourself in a gunfight, which you probably will based on your position, then you need to be able to trade her out. Yeah, and there's, at least, like, there's at least two A. I need the, I needed to go back and help Rita. Yeah, originally she's playing from CT. Just look at the minimap. Right now you don't really look at anything because like the the rest of mid is clear based on your team's position. So just look at the minimap and like build up your awareness so you can figure out what is going on, and then based on that you can decide what to do. Yeah. So here, like, because we, I'm looking at Urena, Urena is no longer playing yeah, passive position so in CT. Think... Now she's playing boxes on sites, so she's very likely to become to get into a gunfight, and therefore we need to be able to trade out ASAP. Like this is what I'm going to expect that she's going to get to a gunfight, and then like somebody needs to help her, or like we'll just hope that she wins two by one, I guess. So I think when I rotate back here, it's because I realize Sage is or Raze is already or Jet's already flanking. Yeah. So he's just gotta look at the minimap. Yeah, and I'm looking at jet flanking. Yeah, and now Reina. Yeah, I should I should be going mid here. Now we gotta hop off Phoenix. I don't know why nope. we're going this way. We gotta hop off Phoenix. Yeah. By the time we actually make this long rotate, Phoenix could be dead already, or Phoenix could have yeah. already taken multiple of your ones. So here's kill. Down A. For some reason, they push Spike out. Just focus on staying alive. I was running and gunning. Don't think I won that if I didn't. Whatever you can do to slow him down. Try not to commit. Bro! 
You know that he has a sheriff, so be careful that you're gonna die in one shot. Yeah. He's just... no there. <clears throat> then I just wall to try to slow them down, knowing I'm like the only one playing A. Go on my mark. Reload See, what did you guys I, buy? Oh, oh my god, please do not buy Spectre. You guys should Wait. probably buy Marshalls. Specifically because it's Breeze. Oh, okay. What I've been doing if I lose second round is just full save. Because Marshall is like really strong. Yeah. If, they, if the enemy team, like, they win pussy round and then they buy Spectres the second round, with you with like heavy shields and Marshall, you can actually win that probably one. Because like right here, if you had a Marshall, like, the Spectre is not going to do any anything to you. It will tag yeah. you like a couple of times, whereas you can just like two shot everything. No Phoenix is A. But really, there's not much you can do anymore because you just have the classic. Last player standing. Team! Yeah. Really, it's that one. Even sometimes I'll buy like Light Guardian or Light Vandal because the heavy shields, if you play at long range, is not really that useful because you'll die in four shots to a vandal regardless if you have light or heavy yeah or you'll die to a one tap or you'll die to two shots from a, a, a marshal or whatever like the extra 25 shields doesn't actually change any break points Toxins going up. why the fuck did you open that because he's pushing through your hall so is your jet. A. You should push with your rain and push with your jet. Yeah. Unfortunately, your wall kind of screwed up your Phoenix there. Which I should talk about that too. Because originally you had a really strong crossfire, but then you put up the wall to isolate your Phoenix. Now, what could happen is that someone pushes, like, from shot Someone to can ink. peek Phoenix easily without me seeing it. Right. Which is what happens. Which is basically what happened here. A. So a fight one one happened on the other side of this wall. So your wall kind of speeding up. I would probably push to A because our jet is pushing this flank from the other side. Hey, that's what it did. Okay, now we give it no. up because we don't have control of A anymore. No, we do no. not push to cave. One enemy remaining. Okay, we know where the last guy is. We can box him in. Box him in, box him in. Get closer based on where your, where your sage is. You don't have to look at this. Just give it a trader out. Good shit, sage. Yeah, I should have. I should have moved up more. Or I should have been there quicker. Yeah. You die. Dude, just one question. Yep. It's like um. Uh, do you think the wall should be saved for retake? Good question. Um. Uh, not like because something I see pros doing uh, doing a lot is like um they'll, they'll orb off the entrance and they like they won't use their wall unless it's a save. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What I've been told is the like after this game I was told to use an orb for cave entrance and not all. Yeah, I can agree with that. Because orb is cheap and you can always reposition the orb, whereas yeah. the wall is committed. Where so if you wall A, they could very easily just go to B, and now your your wall is stuck at A, being useless. Yeah, and orb covers cave entry easily. Okay. I think the important thing is this: as long as you have some sort of plan with your with your uh, wall, or some sort of plan yeah. to like, play around your wall. By now, you should be telling your team that there's probably A because you heard some noise at a hall slash cave. Joke's over. You're dead. I think it's actually B. That is B. Okay. Yeah. Good position to run a bit faster. Spike planted. These shots here. I don't know if it's just like a sensitivity issue or like. Yeah, I've changed my sends after this. Maybe it's like too high, but like this. Your target yeah. is barely moving, and then you're trying to overcrack way too much. Yeah, I've lowered my sentence and son. Even just just looking at this, it's, it still looks like it's too high. 
I would yeah. break that molly instantly after yeah. I saw it put down. Yeah. I mean, she ended up using it too early anyways. Oh, no, don't pick the molly this. Like here, like if you have to pick something to molly, it's generally it's a bad idea. Because when this pick happens, you can basically instantly die. Do, do I see the, the other one just outside my my smoke? Yeah, you do like see the other one. Yeah, your orb wasn't quite positioned correctly. No, no but I, I, I think I saw like just her arm. Who? Right yeah, before right? I went. Um, no, like Killjoy. I think it's just your Phoenix. Uh, yeah, it's no, your no, Phoenix. no, no, like Phoenix. on the left. Yeah, it's like. Your no, no, like, like, right, um, ah, oh, shit, you can't see, like, right on that corner, the corner of my, of my orb there, I think I end up seeing, like, some yellow there, of, like, one of the enemies. Oh, that's, I mean, like, uh, that's not really something you'd look, look, look for in a game. Oh, no, really like, I it. only noticed it now during the replay, but it's, like, it was, it was so minor, I would not have noticed it in a game. Yeah, don't worry about it, no, like, those kind of things you can go Well, I mean, it is free info, but it's like, it was, it was so fast that I, I only saw it on, on the replay here. Yeah, it's not yeah. a big deal, don't worry about it. And what plus, we do, about, see, we do see Killjoy on the map right now. Yeah, what I'm more worried about is these, these fundamental issues, like... That the, I'm peeking them, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm shooting this when I could easily have just one-tapped her here, that had my gun out, and my crosshair up on her head. Yeah, so if you have to pick something and you don't know if somebody's there, it's generally it's a bad idea. Like if you had to pick something to yeah, Molly, then generally she, you Molly. she should she should kill me right here. You should be dead. I want to reload. You have twenty six bullets. Shoot the eye. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just waited. Yeah. Here, your your phoenix is like already like either gonna tap the bomb to pressure her. Or he's like gonna push through the smoke to flank her. Re so. Hey, Reina's doing a me on defense here. She's not in. She's she's slow to the fight. Not contributing much. Right. Well, we can't do anything about that. About that. Yeah. We can no. only focus on our own gameplay. I I I should not have even peeked her. Yeah. You so, should just yeah. Molly. Wait for your phoenix. Once, once I then, once I did that, she knew where it was. You should wait for your phoenix and then turn this to a two v one because otherwise, right now, you gave her an isolated one v one. Yeah. Once. Phoenix. Yeah, I, I blame Phoenix, but... Oh my god, that, that was on me. Interesting now we're losing... Well, i so useless in low elo. No one fucking walks mid. Toxins going up. Well, if you don't think they're gonna go mid, then don't wall mid. I know, I... <laughs> I when I when I was taught the the Viper walls, this was always the wall that hit from mid, so I'm just like, ah, oh, it's gotta be a good wall. There, eh? It, it is a good wall because it does give you mid control. Yeah, it does. But like if, they're not, if they don't peep, what am I doing? This was out. This looked like a very close repeat to like the first round on defense. Walled mid. Yeah. So now you know Kyojo is watching flank. You could choose to continue pushing flank, just be careful I'm about just, Killjoy. I'm still gonna push it. I That's think fine. I know she's That's watching fine. Be careful with Killjoy, yep. Yeah. But you can't take too long with this flank, because as long as Killjoy is keeping you like at this distance, like yeah, away from the bomb Kill, site. Killjoy has all the advantage here right now. She's, she can... no, she's already doing her job. She doesn't, oh. have, she doesn't even have to peek you like this. She just has to sit in cave and then make it super annoying. This is such a great pause, because it's like, if I shoot, I kill her. And I'm definitely not shooting. Yeah, but I'm not focused on like whether you hit the no. shot or not. I'm focused no, about, like, about yeah, the timing like, and like who I, has to push. I, I need to either put, like she should not have peeked me here. She had all the power because I didn't know she was, like she could be anywhere in cave. Okay. And it's a, it's a 4v3 right now for them. Like okay. I, she, she misplayed this one. I think I end up killing her here because of it, which is helpful for me. But yeah, like I, I did not deserve to. This, this was a bad flank after. Like this was a bad flank, and she, she misplayed it, which helped me. Okay. Also, Kalgazza, your your mic is pretty loud. Who mine? I just hear like a bag of chips. Oh, um, that's not me. It's Cog. Okay. Yeah, you don't have time to walk, you need to full send it. Last player standing. Yeah. 
grouping mid. So if you choose a flank like that, you can't like take too much time. No. Especially like now you're, you're forced to weigh out these mollies. You need to like basically right, full send right, it as soon as problem. possible. I, yeah, I should have full sent it or just pulled. We just, she just backed off of the flank once she or was aware it was there. Probably A. I will look Maybe for push. an opportunity to use your ult here. Maybe even if you know that they're coming A, let's say you play close to A cave, you hear footsteps, then you just point out immediately. This is too early though, and this is not the yeah. right position either. No, I should be ulting more on the, the like entry. Yeah, you should ult the entry, because they can still entry and not even plant close to your ult. They can plant the other side of the pyramids. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was taught that, like, yeah, Shay. And now this again, this is like a super passive position, like this action happening all around us, on the other side of the map, where Jet's yeah. already watching a cave, and like, us sitting inside the ult does zero. Especially given how much of sight they have to work with. Yeah, this is why you should you should only spend your ult like this if you know for sure that they're going to come A. Because you yeah, just ult like that, and then they just immediately went to a B. Yeah, I ulted and they just want B. B's wide open too. Go up my mark. Can. It's just cross your placement. Your cross is too low. Yeah. You aim at her. Yeah, I'm, I'm aiming at her like Can. Your stomach. This was 93. Generally, I don't buy. I don't like to buy spectators like almost at all. On, 19. On oh, I, I love super, the spectator. I I run and gun so much of it. It's it's a really bad bad habit. It is, on yeah, oh, it is a terrible habit. I just thought I, it somehow works out for me more than it should. But it's just like it's just such a bad habit that yeah, I'm doing. But you shouldn't rely on it. You should start building good habits as soon as possible. Yeah. I would suggest you buy lights plus Marshall, light plus Guardian, or light plus Vandal as much as possible, and force yeah. yourself like put yourself. Yeah, I I, I into... notice the pros do that. They'll they'll go light if they can get a better gun. Yeah, put yourself because you're a defender, right? You have the luxury of choosing where you want to position on defense and where you want to take your engagements. So you can yeah, always with, put with yourself a, like a in specter, super long range. I, wanna, I I should be playing close now that I have a specter. Right. So if you really insist on buying a specter. Then you have to play to your your gun strengths. So basically, put yourself, position yourself in close range engagements, and try to take as many close range engagements as possible. Like pretty much on site or in at entry. Yeah, basically like hard commit to the A entrance, like outside a cave. Yeah. The second half. So let's see what happens. We're sitting in the door. This is a terrible position because someone's gonna peek us from a cave, and then we're no way we're gonna win that fight. Unless they miss all their shots. That's a late wall. That's a bad wall because it isolates. They could just go to the left side of the wall. Yeah. And this is why, like, Spectre is so bad because now you have to, like, retake all this open area. Someone could be mid here. We take a 1v1, one -one, we're gonna lose it. Guaranteed. Yeah. We also didn't really check bottom mid. Children knows I'm flanking. Not necessarily because she's too focused on your team. You did see a Phoenix, enemy Phoenix at T spawn. I yeah. wouldn't fight that. Like, again, this range, you lose yeah. it every time. Quick, quickly realize that that's a lost fight. This situation, I would run over to the dead I, bodies at B I would, and pick up a better gun. After I killed Killjoy, I knew Phoenix was flank was like rotating. I should have, but I should have pushed him more. You should have cut him off, knowing that I had a Spectre. Uh, I'm not, not sure if you actually get there in time. Plus, like, or you know, at least pick up Killjoy's weapon. Then, if I don't think I can do that, you don't. You don't have time to go pick up Killjoy's weapon. Let's after you kill her. After you kill her. Just look at the minimap because right now you're not really holding an angle. Just look at the minimap. We saw that uh, Raze, and now Phoenix are both like window running to a T spawn. We kill yeah, the Killjoy. Yeah, if I if I go for her weapon, they most likely kill me. They're probably just at the corner there. Yeah, they could be at the corner. Well, I guess if Reyna's like holding it, that, the angle... Yeah, if I, yeah, there's Reyna. If I picked up the weapon, I'm dead. Unless so, Reyna can yeah. take her. I would just run to a B right now, regroup your team, and get a better gun. Bad, bad fight right here. 
here you have the generally it's a good idea to cut off rotations but again you don't have the gun to be able to do this yeah i had the right idea just the wrong gun there if i had like a vandal would have been better yeah so you have to, you have to play to your gun strengths if you can't put yourself in a in a close range fight then you shouldn't take that fight yeah even right here this would be too far when they run onto site that's like a mid a mid range mid to long range if, you, if it goes like further away from the pyramid Head right in, let's press stall, you see him sticking out. Nice, good job. This situation, I would actually not defuse because you look, you press tab, you see your phoenix does not have a good gun yet. Waits until he has a chance to pick up a better gun and then defuse. I should also give him half here. Yeah, so that not he can get we won the round. Yeah, you can also do that as well. It's almost like. You just yeah, I'm just gonna take it. Brain. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I am so. I am so toxic this game, but I'm not even chatting. I don't know how I'm gonna win so. fucking ten kills or higher. They're okay. all trash. Yeah, to focus on kills. You're not focusing enough about team play. Yeah. No, that's that's one was frustrating. A nine nine three, and I think you we mean, end like, up. I think it, they end up at nine rounds. It's easier to talk frag if you just. Play post plant if you just sit back site, bait your team the entire round, which is kind of what you've yeah. been doing like half this yeah, time. Yeah, that's 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 literally what I'm doing this game. That's why I'm top frag. But it's the like, only thing too is that oh I, because, I like we we win this game a lot easier if I actually was helping my team more. Yeah. And after you defuse, after the round's over, rounds. you notice that the Phoenix I don't know how anyone on my team no gun should buy him gun. ten kills or and he, and not necessarily buy him, but they're, they're all he, now your team has wasted a gun Gosh. because he upgraded to a presumably a vandal or something. Like or Phantom. Okay, and actually the the spectator went to the stage. But again, like <laughs> yeah. just a new defuse, wait till your team all has good guns and make sure that they have good guns and whatever is whatever you can get out of the round, then end the round. Yeah. I'll rotate mid. The enemy team has shown that they've basically five stacked every time, so if you don't hear any A at this point, they're probably not A. Okay, so that's two ults. I would just full send it now. Three ults. I am full sending it. I don't know. Bad idea. What? What's a bad idea? Oh, I kind of just wasted some time. Like, I was going to like, go up through the half of mid and sit up, like, the little window in mid and air from. That's, that's not really a big deal. What I'm more concerned about is... Right now it's a two v five situation, and actually because like your your mini map is is not giving you the full possible information. Yeah, because you're, you're I, don't, sending I, yourself. I don't even know where my ring is. Yeah, so for your next matches, you should probably immediately change your mini map so that you can see the full mini map at all times. So right now, like, I need to know make like it bigger or make it smaller. Uh, I would just make it not centered, so not centered on you, but just see like centered on the map itself. Oh, okay. Because right now I really need to know like where's my Reyna, what is she about to do, and make sure and I if, time my aggression, time my... Yeah, is she seeing anyone? Is she like, what angle is she clearing? Is she committing? Yeah. If I'm not able to communicate, ideally we just communicate and say, Hey Reyna, do you want to commit to this or do we play for exit kills? Because that's what I'm thinking right now. Yeah. It's a 2v5, no, it's probably like, winnable. Like we, we could save this one if we want. Like 11 nine's not bad. Yeah. If Reyna's not confident, we win this. Yeah, then you guys should just save it. But you guys need to be on the same page. Whether you guys communicate, yeah. or you communicate in game with like the, the in game voice yeah. wheel, or you read her body language. Like if she's like pushing through CT spawn into B, then you know that she's not going to save. She's yeah. like full save. I, I have no knowledge on what she's doing right here. Yeah, so build up that awareness, change your minimap so you get as much information as possible, communicate with your team to, to be on the same page, and then formulate a plan together. So like if you guys choose to full send it that's gonna be different than if you guys choose to play for exit kills yeah so right now i'm actually thinking that you guys should just presumably right now because you don't have full information that we just focus on getting exit kills we see one's nest exit kills are exit kills. We we've been spotted which is unfortunate oh we can actually stall great reposition Spike down, oh hold on the molly 
As soon as you kill someone, general rule of thumb is that you should reposition because you don't need to reload. Probably you don't need to reload. You don't need to molly. Oh, you just need to get to a different spot because they know that you're in B right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. You get mollied. Why? Yeah. Oh my god. I, I, I uh, that was fucking hit the wrong button. Yeah. Pulled oh, yeah, it down. I, I, yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna smoke there to reposition. No, don't even, don't even smoke. It's too I, slow. It's too slow. You need to be as fast as possible. You just need I the was, full send. I was spamming the button to pull it out, and then just never shot, never threw it. Well, the, the problem is that you, you were thinking about utility instead of like thinking with your gun. Keep your yeah. gun out, run to somewhere else. The only way that you're going to survive that with your utility out is if the enemy lets you use Watch. your utility. Watching this is like watching me play CS. It's just like I'd always die whipping a nade. Yeah, so just like give it all that habit. Whatever you can do, like stop thinking that you need to spend utility. There's times that, yes, you do need to spend utility, but there's times my that plan you there don't was have to molly bomb utility. and try to buy more time, but I honestly don't think we would have won it even if I got the molly off on bomb. Yeah. Like, I think there's too much time. Yeah. Should have used my, my orb instead of my wall. It's fine. It's fine. Just playing with your wall. Right now you should communicate to your team. See if there's two people in A cave. You hit Phoenix, you hit someone else, you hit three people now. You hit Raze, Phoenix. You also need to kill that boom bots. Right now it ults. Uh, a little bit late. You hit someone in Pyramid, left side, you should ping it. Spike down. Spike down. Your jet's carrying by cleaning out all of cave already. You will not kill my allies. That's probably a cave. A shop, maybe? Yeah, shop. Don't stand here. This is the first thing that they're gonna see that they're gonna look at when they push through. That's a bad side too to play on. I think they rotated. It's fine, you should communicate to your team. Tell them they're no longer A. Now you saw the both B on the minimap. You need to yeah, look at your minimap. I got a pulse and I cannot walk right you, here. You cannot walk. You know they're both B. There we go. So in this, these situations left. where like, you're not actively looking at anything, you're not actively holding an angle, you should just no. keep your eyes on the minimap as much as possible. Yeah, I, I I see them B. I should just be full right. sending. You should be full sending. Left. Instead, I peek there, walk. So when is it shoes? Not paying attention to mini map. Not paying attention to Spike planted. things mini happening One on the map. The things that your team is doing. Even this planted. is like too slow. One enemy and remaining. And if it's out, you just look at the minimap, look at the minimap, look at the minimap, the gun is out, okay. Is this, a, is this a good smoke though that I throw here so I can get on the site without him maybe It's too breaking? slow, it's too slow. You know where the phoenix is, your Rainer is already in a gunfight with the phoenix. Yeah. The smoke is like, not useful. No. The, the gunfight could have been decided already, he could have killed you right now and you're just- oh, he's already useless. dead by the time I throw it. Useless. Like when your team like is in an engagement, you just need to send it. You can't be like focused on your utility, you can't be like hiding back sight. You need to like help your team A C P. Yeah. I do not like that wall at all. I'm gonna so flank it again. I need to stop flanking, it is just... You can flank. Flanking is fine, but you can't do it this yeah. slow. Okay, no, walking, walking, like, walking. Yeah, I need, to, I need to speed up my flank, like, um... Well, we need to figure out why you're taking so long with these flanks. Like, are you afraid of something? Are you not paying attention to the minimap? Like, figure right, out there, there, what the issue is so yeah. that we can fix it first. Then we can... Th yeah, go ahead. I'm thinking there might be someone holding the flank. So, for some reason... On Fracture, at least, there's always someone that's very late on their team. Okay. And they hold, and when I try to flank, I end up dying to them. 
Okay. But so... yeah, this like this is like my fourth flank, and I've no one's been holding the flank. It's just been Killjoy alarm yeah. bot. Yeah. So you have to so read like, like enemy patterns. Like what has the enemy done? I sh I should know. I should know by this time that once once I know no one's there, I can just fully sprint through their spawn over to B. Yeah. Okay. So there's two elbow. The small is not important. We need you to collapse on elbow ACP. Last two people elbow, make sure you cut off the rotations. Cut off the Phoenix rotation, he's about to rotate. One enemy remaining. Reposition, you know who the last guy is? Reposition, yep. You saw the last guy, you got on the minimap, you saw him. He's pushing you. Yeah, this whole time, like, you actually saw him. Right there, on the minimap. But you don't look at the minimap. I'm looking at it right now, I haven't seen him pop up. You see, you see it, you see the question mark. Do you see it now? Hello? No. No, I don't see the question mark. You see the question mark right next to the X, like right next to where the Phoenix died. You know where oh, the last yeah, person yeah. is. Okay, yeah, I see it a bit. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. And now you hear her like full sending it. Yeah. Woo! Okay. So Yeah, mini map. Awareness. Let's see what notes do we have. Okay, so major issues. Try to avoid unnecessary one ones from happening and instead force two ones to happen. This ties into post plant situations. Many times post plant you're playing super passive, you're just hiding backside, you're hiding inside your ult. And your team is just like out and about doing things, most of the time carrying you because they're, they're out taking engagements, fighting those engagements, taking those 1v1s, and managing to win those 1v1s. But we can't really rely on our team to like win every single 1v1 for us. We need to put ourselves in a situ into positions so that we can force those 1v1s that our team takes to become 2v1s to guarantee that they win the fight instead of yeah. hoping that, yeah, well, let's just hope that our team wins the 1v1. Each 1v1 is basically a 50-50 for the most part. Unless your team is like completely outplaying them, or unless like you, you guys have like some smokes. Unless there's like a huge health difference. Or, yeah, there's a huge health but, difference. But even then it comes to like, who's crosshairs at the head. It just comes down to like 50-50. Just put it, just call it a 50-50. Yeah, 50-50 is if basically the, just, if just, the skills, just assume each 1v1 is a 50-50. You don't know skill levels. Yeah, if the skill levels are even, and they should be relatively even, then each each 1v1 is a 50-50. But if you put yourself in positions to force the 1v1 to become a 2v1, now it's no, no longer a 50-50. Now it's 80-20, like or 90-10, yeah. or even 100%, almost guaranteed, that your team will win that gunfight if it happens. Yeah. So... You're top fragging, which is great. The problem is that the game is not about kills. The game is about information. Yeah, the game I, was, is about... I was top fragging, but I made a lot of mistakes that game. Right. So don't focus. Yeah. Don't overly focus on like the number of kills that you or your team has. Don't focus on like this guy has like two frags, so he's like doing nothing. If that person is like spending his utility wisely, if that person is getting lots of information about the enemy, setting your team up, yeah. doing the right smokes, trading people out. Like, all those things are way more important than the person who just gets, like, two, three kills every round that are yeah. useless kills. Yeah. Okay, so bullet point number three, awareness issues. This again ties into, like, one and two, where, like, your team is about, out and about, like, doing things around the map, and we're just, like, doing something else, or hiding, playing passive, or doing our own thing, where, like, our, our thing is not important until later on. And that kind of that wraps in a bit with like your wall, for example, like your timing of your wall is not right. So actually, this this ties into like timing issue, where like it's whether it's the timing of your wall, or it's the timing of your push, your timing of your aggression, the timing of your utility. I think it. I think it's yeah, wall and utility are definitely the the top two. Well, it's just it just all goes back to timing. Make sure that right. when you do something, your team is also doing something at the same time. When your team is doing something, make sure you're doing something at the same time. For example, if your your team is being aggressive, your team is pushing in, or like several times on attack, your Rainer was like entering by herself, or your Jet was entering by herself, 
Like when that happens, you need to be able be in a position to push with your Rainer, push with your jet. When you're when you're like sitting back sight and your jet and your Rainer are already pushing up mid, like there's no point in sitting back sight anymore. Like your Rainer and jet are gonna take a long run before your position in back sight becomes useful. So instead, you should push with your Rainer, push with your jet, take those 2v1s. Worst case scenario, if the jet dies, the Rainer dies, then you can fall back to your backside position. Then you can fall back to playing post plan. Then you can fall back to playing lineups or playing one utility, etc. Yeah. So timing, timing, timing. This all ties in together again with awareness so that you need to be aware of what's happening around you so that you can know what the best decision is or know what you should be doing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so those are the four major issues. Let's see, what's the minor? Uh, several times when you see an enemy who's in an unaware position, you should not panic. There's many times where you saw someone, you saw the Sage, you saw the, the Phoenix, and they weren't even aware of like where you were. So in those situations, just take your time, line up your crosshair, take the easy shot instead of spraying at their legs. So yeah, yeah. just try not to panic. Try to like yeah. more predict the situation more. And then the next one seems to be back to uh, avoid unnecessary 1v1s and trying to trade out people. Yeah, try to trade out your team. Try to play around your team. And really this, this bullet point ties together with awareness and timing. Be aware of everything that's happening around you as well as everything that's happening around the map so that you can make the best possible decision so that you're not lagging behind when the team is pushing in so that you're not... Um, throwing much utility when gunfights are already happening. Yeah. And then other other minor thing is don't focus on utility so much. Too many times you peek with your utility out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Any questions so far? No, none so far. Okay. All right, so if you have uh, any more questions or any more body reviews you want to do in the future, just let me know. All right, we'll do. All right, cool. All right, see you later. Bye. See you.